Hey everybody, it's Blue Ducky, and welcome back to another episode of Toy Talk Topic. Uh, this one's just, it's is very early images of the Enchantimals, which is a new Mattel line, uh, which there should be a lot more info at Toy Fair 2017 in New York next month. I uh, just thought it'd be a nice little segment now that we know about the Enchantables. There's going to be a few pictures coming up. We're going to have a pull at the end of the video, and you tell us what you're most excited about. Uh, so we're just going to go straight into the pictures now. Yep. Sorry for the quality, but again, it's really early. Mm -hmm. uh, here's a cute little pit play set. And what do you think, Ducky? Of the playset? Well, of the overall idea, um, here's a little synopsis of what they are. Uh, Enchantimals are somewhere between human and animal. They are one with nature and keepers of their forest home. Uh, they maintain balance, peace, and harmony. And each en enchantimal gets some needed help from their very own animal bestie. So each of these dolls comes with a little animal, and they're a little bit um, a mix of human and animal themselves. Yep. They're smaller dolls. Uh, to me, this seems to go towards the ever-growing shoppy market. Mm -hmm. The the type of doll. It's a littler doll. Yeah. Um, they're they're kind of cute. I still prefer shoppies. Basically, they just remind me of Ever After High Pixies. That's it. Yeah. A lot of, um, you could see a lot of uh, the idea from it probably came from those. I think you're right. Mm -hmm. I like the concept arts. Amazing. Yeah, I don't think, like, from these pictures, I'm not too excited um, for the actual dolls. They just look like the pixies from Ever After High, and I didn't really like those too much. Um, it doesn't, I don't think they're going to have, like, joints in the elbows or the knees yeah it for, look like... for smaller dolls it's a little bit oh, more acceptable for no joints but uh would have liked like to see at least elbow joints maybe not wrist maybe knee and elbow yeah uh but it does not look like you're getting that yeah some of the designs are pretty cool but i think the artwork is a lot cuter than these doll pictures Hopefully, maybe when we get more pictures, more detailed pictures, I'll be more excited. But for right now, I don't think they're that great. And again, you think about the designers at Mattel are amazing. The execution and the management decisions on the actual product hitting short shelves is where we have the problem with. But the, the, if you see, look at the concept, or you look at the images on the box, I know it's hard to see, or that image, that's amazing to me. Yeah. But the execution is not there. Yeah. And if these don't sell, it's it's not because the idea isn't great. Mm hmm It's a great idea. Mm hmm It's just in the execution and what Mattel's been producing. Yeah. Um, let's get back to the final, uh, or the first image. The first image? Yes. Okay. No, no, one more, one more, sorry. Okay, now this is where I'm going to put up the pull. Um, in past toy talks, I'm just going to try to get you guys to remember what we've gone over. The Cuckoo Harajuku girl dolls, some of the new DC superhero girl dolls, or or Monster High or Ever After High. What are you guys most excited to see at Toy Fair? Maybe this might be it. For me, not personally. Um, I think this is, now that the poll is for you guys, What is what are you most excited to see at Toy Fair, Ducky? What uh, dolls are you most excited for? Out of those four? At least five. five. Um, I, hopefully Ever After High, if they're there. Yeah. I would be excited to see new stuff coming from them. But I don't think they were there last year. Or mm. if they were, they didn't really yeah, show la new stuff. Yeah, last year was really focused on DC Superhero Girls, seems yeah. like. Um, to me, my top two would be DC Superhero Girls, because out of all of these lines, that's the thing, I, the line that's been the most quality. Mm -hmm. And 
I'm excited to see what Monster High mm -hmm. is going to come out. Um, we've been too happy about some of the releases, but they're still in the reboot phase, so those are the most, the most my anticipated too. Okay. But please comment below and vote in the poll. All right. And if you have an idea for another Toy Talk topic, leave that below too. We might use it in the future. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.